Hey guys, welcome to the full stack Get channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about another method, which is like it's selected method. So it's selected method is basically like a, it's a Boolean method, which is checks like uh, whether checkbox it, it is selected or not. If it is not selected, then it is going to return as Boolean false. If it is selected, then it is going to return like Boolean true, right? So let me try to go to this particular sample of the demo website, right? So this is the website I have taken so this is the internet here of you have right so if i just try to inspect this checkbox right let's say like that is equal to checkbox and i think there are two there are two checkboxes here which is why it is matching node s2 so what i'll do is like i'll say by not find element by not part I'll pass this x part and put on the click right and after that what i'll do is like i'll just print or i'll just check the status of this particular checkbox after performing the click operation right on this checkbox so what i'll do is like i'll just get to capture on this particular checkbox that's where we meant checkbox one right and I'll say checkbox one is enabled. It's it's selected, right? So you can see the documentation. What it says is like it determines whether this element is selected or not, right? This operation only applies to the input element, such as a checkbox is option in a select or radio buttons, right? So basically, it is mainly for checkboxes and the radio buttons, right? So we can check whether they are selected or not. So let us quickly run this and I'll check about a bit. So do it close the browser and let's get the status of it. So you can see it is false, right? and why it is false so let's not close this time so that we can see like what is the actual status so we are referring to the first checkbox let's see how it will be able so first one is like uh, unchecked right so what is the status as false so it is right since it is not selected so it is uh, giving us as false over here initially but when I run it one more time, right? So what I will do is like uh, I'll just hit on this dot click, and then I'll print this, and let's see. This time it should be selected, and it should have the status as true. Well. All right, so it has selected the first checkbox, and uh, this time it is having the status as true, right? So basically, this method is now actually checking the status of this particular checkbox. If it is selected, then it is going to uh, check uh, return as as true. If it is not selected, then it is false. So sometimes in the real time scenario, we have to some we have to check like whether the checkbox is selected or not. If it is not selected, then we have to make the, the checkbox selection because what? happens normally in the real time scenario so let's say some user has already selected that particular checkbox and uh, when the automation execution happens then then what happens is like uh, it is not going to perform it is going to perform the click on that particular job so it will be like unchecked right so in that scenario it is going to perform a check we'll be writing a script logic to check whether the checkbox is selected or not if it is not selected then only it is going to perform the click or operation on the checkbox or else or it is going to check the checkbox otherwise it is not performing the check checking there right so that's how it works in the real time so that's all in this video see you in the next one thanks for watching